All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Sacrecraft. It is I, Zazar, and today, uh, we've done exact. I've done exactly what I said I was gonna do last time. So what I said I was gonna do last time was that I was gonna give my Wings of the Eternal, uh, Swiss Sneak number five because that is what we rightfully earned from the, uh, from last session. Because of course, as you know, we have grabbed, uh, four of the. Uh, Swift Sneak 3 books. Now, I don't for I forget if these were the books exactly, so let's go trash them right now. Uh, if I know where to go with them. Uh, but uh, before then, I wanted to uh, mention something uh, right off the bat before we go and continue onward. So, uh, as you know, the Wings of the Eternal is an elytra that I made a long time ago. That allows me to sort of just not need to wear armor and that I could just do just about whatever I really want to do in Minecraft because, well, you know, that sometimes when you start a new world, sometimes you just want to have that sort of like, like you don't want to redo everything you want to do at the beginning, like you need to do at the beginning, like chop down trees, mine for cobblestone, blah, blah, blah. So that's why we added this little clause where you can... Or you can just bring in an old creation and all that stuff and of course for us in particular uh we also have it so though like uh we have it so that we can bring in stuff that we've either cheated hacked or whatever you kind of want it uh so long as it is within reason now here comes the part that i kind of want to sort of just mention so if anybody else thinks of doing this uh this will sort of help you uh, out with that. So, uh, let us go equip this uh, elytra over here, which does that, and let's go over here. Let's go far away. I'll try and find lava too, so that we can get rid of the, uh, the books here. I'll count these as the books that we used specifically for it. I thought I got rid of them, I might not have. It has been a week. And I have been pretty busy with something else. So I might have just forgotten. So. Is there lava here? No. There's usually above pools of lava. I usually find them almost all the time. But that was before 1.18. So they might have changed how they spawn now. Oh, I found one. It's not really an above-ground pool, but close enough. Anyway. There we go. Alright, so that'll pay for the Elytra. I've already paid for the experience, but I haven't paid literally through that. So, this Elytra right here is just the Wings of the Eternal, but sort of more... Uh, like, sort of, like, Minecraft friendly, if that makes sense. So, like, this one will sort of, like, not break the game with, like, 32k enchantments. It's sort of, like, 10 on everything, so it's not too, too broken. But it's also not, like, too, like, you can easily get it within Minecraft if you just sync it up this way kind of thing. No. But anyway, so I just wanted to show off something really cool about this one. So, for the Wings of the Traveler, which is what I named these wings in particular, uh, I wanted to mention a few things. One is that these ones are these ones do have Swift Sneak number five on them. So, here is how long it takes for us to get from here to here without Swift Sneak. Now, I'm not timing this. So, you know, it, it's it's pretty long. It, it, takes, it takes a good little bit just to get from A to B. So, if I equip this, it should be relatively faster, correct? Because if Swiss Unique number 5 is equipped to it, it should be fine. That looked like it took about, about the same time. Maybe a little more. Maybe there's a little modifier in it. Okay. So... Let's go and see what this actually does. So, 
so there is actually something you can put on certain uh, on certain items that allows it to hide the tags or hide what it does. So that's why it only displays as Wings of the Traveler. It doesn't tell you that it has mending or unbreaking or, or whatever. But I have a separate version over here, which is right next to this one, that actually does tell us what it does. So let's go and take a look. So it looks like Blast prote Protection, Projectile, Fire, and Normal Protection are all 10. Aqua Affinity is a 10. So is Feather Falling, so is Depth Strider, so is Soul Speed. These might not actually do anything, but I don't really, that's not really what we're here for. Respiration 3, okay. Swift Sneak number 5, okay. Mending and Curse of Vanishing, okay. So it looks like this one also improves our health by 20, which is just an extra roll of hearts. Armor Toughness goes up by uh, 30, which I think is the max for it, and 30 armor. That's, I think, what Netherite gives you, I think. Uh, knockback resistance that means that if any an, anything hits us we don't actually move at all and luck 10 oh i thought i removed that or is this an older one before i removed that i don't know so so as you as you saw though this should have like even if we were to use this one okay so we know this one confirmably has swift sneak we can we can see it so let's see here Maybe it's slightly boosting us, but I'm not noticing a different, like, I'm not noticing a change. So, when I found that out, I found that out in a single player world, and I was very, very sad when I saw that it didn't do anything. The Wings of the Eternal does have it, but it doesn't do anything. So I gave it to these boots, or these leggings, sorry, not these boots. So I gave, so these uh, leggings now have Mending, Unbreaking, and Swift Sneak number five. But when we equip it to here, and we do it, we are cruising. We are cruising when we're sneaking. So we can now sneak as fast as we are supposed to be running. Or as, supposed to, uh, as uh, we're supposed to be walking, which is really, really quick and really, really cool. Like, look how fast we're going. Like, that's... That's what I wanted on the Wings of the Eternal, but I guess for some reason it's only applicable to uh, to uh, like leggings, which is kind of weird because all of these enchantments that are on here, minus Swift Sneak, of course, actually work. Like they they actually work. So it just seems kind of weird though that the only one that doesn't work is literally Swift Sneak. And I'm trying to head back to base, and I think I went the wrong direction. Again. Uh, was I even in the right area? I think it was on that area, that side though. But yes, now we're back to Rosaria base. We need to eat some food. Uh, you don't have food. You do, but I think I have. I have glow bears in here. I can eat them. Oh, I didn't put this stuff away yet. Dang it, man! I thought I did. All right. Alright, one more, then we'll put this stuff away. Perfect. Alright, so I spent pretty much two days. Is that fish? That might be tropical fish. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I spent uh, a good pow uh, good amount of time in two days uh, actually sorting stuff out from up here and technically downstairs as well. So down here as well. And I have finished everything that I wanted to do. So if I actually go take these away. Let's just take these out of here real quick. All right, let's see here. Uh, you'll notice though that they're actually completely empty. Uh, same idea with the one that is up here, I believe. This one should also be empty. 
Uh, yes. All right. Yeah, so it should say like block of something or whatever is in there, but there's nothing in these. Nothing's hidden, nothing's unseen. So that's good. So I'm just gonna delete that one when possible. There are there is a lava cauldron inside here, but I find that it doesn't work all the time. Because it just misses it. Which is fine. Anyway. Yeah. And if I really wanted to delete those things, I could just grab the book of the black book of removal and just do it. Anyway. Uh just give me the lightning pickaxe, I guess. There we go. You can have your you can have your stinking anvil back. I don't need it anywhere. No, I'm kidding, okay. So I have grabbed all of the stuff that was originally in the shulker boxes, or the shulker box that was up here, uh, and I think the ones that are downstairs as well, and I put them into their respective uh, own shulkers. So allow me to show you what I did. So I put the goat horns in here. I'm going to have them like in all four corners. So I have ponder here, and I have seek over here. Oh, seek is the... Seek is the Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so Seek's that one. So I have Echo Shards in here, and I also have the uh, Disc Fragments in here as well. Even though I could make a Music Disc, but I just want to put the Disc Fragments in there. And this one has the Screaming Goat Horns, and this one just is for the normal ones. Now, why do does the Screaming Ones get their own one? Because they're special. I think they're called Screaming Goat... It might just be called something different, and I'm just not... And I just don't know what it is. But I think they're called something like that. It's like it's like a screaming goat or yelling goat or something like that. I'm not quite sure. You have a 1% chance of, I think, breeding two normal goats in order to get them. And then when you have, I think it's like one that's already screaming and one that's not. You think it's like five or something like that. It's like a, it's increased, but it's not by much. And then if you have two, you're always guaranteed another screaming goat kind of thing. It might be 50. I'm not quite sure. But yeah. And then these two, of course, are going to be going in here. Because this one is where I keep all my rare stuff. I have like almost three shulker boxes filled with saddles, and I have a bunch of name tags and stuff like that. So I'll put those two here for now. Uh, yeah, because I have the horse armors here, and I have the boats and my carts in there. Those aren't rare, it's just like. They're just transportation, and I just didn't want to put them down there. And, of course, we also have all the Skulk stuff. So I put the Skulk veins in here. We only have one, because I, I didn't really collect them. Uh, we also have a bunch of Skulk in here. We also have a bunch of uh, Skulk sensors. We also have a bunch of Skulk shriekers in here. Not a lot, but enough. And we also have a bunch of Skulk catalysts here. And this stuff, I'm definitely going to put uh, downstairs in the, uh, what's it called, uh, in the storage room. But I'm going to put them above the redstone, so like about right here. Because they do work with, it's like some of the stuff does work with redstone, but there's no other really good spot for them. So I'm not really, like, I don't really know where I want to put them just yet, if that makes sense. So yeah, so we're just going to do that for now. And over here, we have all of the mangrove stuff. So I have the logs in here. I have the mangrove papagool thing. I also have a mud block in here because I only collected one, apparently. I don't know how one got in here, but no other ones. Uh, we also have the mangrove stuff in here as well. So we have a lot of stuff that we can actually end up doing stuff with. Which is actually kind of perfect because we kind of just need uh, stuff as well. Unfortunately, I think, yeah, like I have the logs all on one line and I have the planks on the other. 
So maybe we'll, I'll put the, uh, like I'll have another storage box specifically for it. I'll put the mangrove stuff in here. For now, maybe I'll have like an extra storage area or something like that or for offloading and stuff like that. Wait, don't, don't I? Well, I have extra stuff in down here. Like I have extra storage spaces in here that I can use. Like where are they? Uh, like I could put them in here. Oh, those are the wool ones. Okay. Wait, what? <gasps> no way. Is this because of the speed, or is this because? Wait. I didn't know that. Swift Sneak actually works in areas like this. Oh. <gasps> Okay, first of all, they said crouching on the wiki. I'm not even joking. It says when you crouch. It doesn't say anything about that. Bro, that's awesome. That's amazing. All right. And I don't know where this shulker came from. I don't remember from the last session. So I'm just going to leave it here. So if this is 